an incredible, incredible recognition by the citizens of this great city to pay tribute to a woman who embodies the very best qualities of what humanity ought to be about. In life, I guess, you can uh, choose the path of least resistance, or you can choose the road of less travel, where you actually make your own path. And you come on that road by choice and conviction. It's perhaps a more difficult road. Perhaps it's a road with more obstacles to overcome. Perhaps it would be so much easier to just take that road where it's already paid for you. But Vivian Reese is the embodiment of the woman who took the road less traveled, who understood that we collectively as people have a responsibility to one another. She could have easily chosen to bask in her success a number of employees, the revenue, all those things that unfortunately for far too many is a single motivating factor. But you know the real lesson of Vivian Reese is that there is a greater purpose in life, that there's a higher calling, that we collectively as people need to aim higher, that we collectively understand that there's no greater purpose in life than to be of service to one another. And more importantly, to be of service to the most vulnerable. There's nothing more important. After you figure out your revenues and your expenses and your profit and your losses and your number of jobs, at the end of the day, when you're sitting at that chair, sitting on that sofa, in pure solitude and silence, listening to your inner core, you know that we were put on this earth to help each other. And that one is what Vivian truly represents to me as an individual. Her journey is nothing more than just exceptional. A journey that embodies the very best of what a person can do while on Earth. And so once you get through all their business titles and you get all through you know, the number of salespeople that work with her and the brokers, you get right to the essence of the individual. And the essence of the individual is really all about the charities that she helps out, and one in particular, which is Yellow Brick House. And I think we all know what Yellow Brick House does. And we all know that we cannot remain silent and sit idly by while people are challenged, while people are facing enormous obstacles to just get through a day, never mind going to work. You're talking about people's personal safety and all that takes place. And Vivian knows about that. That is why she reaches out. That's why she gives it herself. And that's why she is a model worth anyway. And so to Vivian, uh, from the bottom of my heart, on behalf of the over 300,000 people that reside in this wonderful city of Vaughan and indeed city council as well, I want to express to you my warmest and sincerest gratitude for all that you do. You teach every day by the actions you take. And what is wonderful and beautiful about you is that your values, principles, and beliefs, your actions are always aligned to them. And that what makes you the incredible citizen and the embodiment of what's truly amazing 
and that is a caring, compassionate heart that reaches out to those most in need. And so, let me leave you with a thought. That this type of citizenship is what I simply adore about our city. And for you to be a leader among so many people, over 300,000 of them, is really a testament to your greatness. And I don't use those words lightly. So I want to say thank you. And let me share with you a little bit of a good fortune that I've had as mayor over the past 14, 15, 16 months. I'm having so much fun, I forget how many months I've been doing this. And that is that every year we hold the mayor's gala to help people that are in need, to share our blessings that we all have. And so tonight I also would like to, above and beyond the award, which is extremely meaningful, I want to, I want to present to you from the Mayor's Gala a check of $10,000 for Yellow Brick House. Yeah.